Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Will we ever see Christina Carpenter, the mother of both Tara and Sam? You know, I think it's really bizarre and odd that in all of Screen 5, we've never seen the woman that had an affair with Billy Loomis and spawned a child. And the child is like, you know, the new like final girl and stuff. I just think that's really weird. We've never seen a photo. We've never seen video footage. We never saw her in real time. We only get mentions of her and stuff like that. I do wonder if she's going to be in Scream 6. No, I don't think she'll be the killer. Um, Because why would she try to murder like her daughter? Like her, both her daughters, you know what I'm saying? That would be kind of weird. But then again... Maybe that's the twist of all twists. Think about it. In Scream 2, one of the killers was Billy Loomis' mother because she wanted revenge for, you know, the death of her son. Now, this new slash reboot type thing, sequel that they're doing, they keep trying to do homages to the first two Screams. The first movie was similar to the first, uh, well, Scream 5 was similar to the first movie, and now it got retitled to just be Scream, and now Scream 6 is supposed to be kind of like Scream 2. They're in college, they're in a different location, um, Ghostface is still chasing after them. It would be interesting to see the mother angle once again in some form or fashion, but I just don't see it being her. However, Here's the weird backstory of her and stuff. So, she was 18 and Billy was around 17. He was like a junior or so in high school, junior or senior. And supposedly, she was either a senior in high school or she already graduated. Before Billy went on his killing spree, he cheated on Sydney because she would not give it up. And so, there's never been no mention of her in none of the Scream movies. So they just decided to add this plot for Scream 5 just to get the whole new like rebooted thing like up and kicking, right? And so she cheated on her boyfriend who later became her husband and the father of Tara, the youngest. And so in Scream 5, Sam was actually 24 years old. And her sister was just a few years behind her and stuff. Now... What's her name? Christina would be slightly older than that of Sydney. Sydney, I believe, was 17 in the first movie. And so, Nev Campbell is 49 years old. Um, but in Screen 5, it is said that Christina is 42. It also says she's on a huge vacation in London because of her job. So she got a swanky, fancy job. However, it's also been reported that she is an alcoholic. And I think she was also in rehab for drugs. So something's not going on right in her head. But yet something's going on right for her to have a fancy job. But yet we never ever get to see her. I think it was really shameful of the, you know for them to like take away like the mother aspect because it would have been more drama added to the story. However, they were trying to uh, follow that same formula of like you know no parents around. Think about Screen One. Sydney's father he appears but he doesn't show up because he's supposed to be on vacation for like a job thing. But then he's really been held hostage and stuff. Then he doesn't reappear until Screen Three. And for the most part, people's parents have never really been in these movies. We see Dewey and Tatum's mom once very quickly, and that's about it. In Scream 5, um, Deputy Trudy, she has a son. She is the mother, but then she dies very quickly in the movie, and so does her son. Then, of course, we get Randy's sister, who has like twins, and but she was shown very briefly as well. So parents have never really been in the mix of Scream, except for Scream the television series. And no matter what season it is, the parents always played a vital role somehow in the story, mostly in the first two. And it made it more interesting. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the TV series, I do like elements of it. 
parents being part of like you know the murder mystery of why all this is happening to their kids is very intriguing and it's something screen five should have went into i don't think screen five was written very smart i think it was written very sloppy and like um just like tossed around and stuff like that so I would like to see Christina Carpenter show up at some point in time in the franchise. I'm hoping she'll show up in six, but I really doubt it. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.